Right, we are live. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a brilliant, brilliant good evening. Massive greetings from the TNN TV Media Empire. Me with the top two owner today, the 18th of October 2022. My name is Prince Emil Koma. Um, of course, there are a few things that I will I will cover and we'll talk about um briefly um, um shortly. But um, um, just a quick one. <laughs> can I or can I say that I bring ma massive greetings to everybody, um, um, people that just begin to tune in. Apologies for nineteen. I think we are nineteen minutes late into a very important program we we for have. Again, this is not on me, and I'm not going to make judgment. For example, because definitely. What we're supposed to have is a member of parliament. We're supposed to appear on the platform so we can have a good program in terms of the way how we um, um, categorize them, which is about um, um, which is about um, the clarifications of the All People's Congress, the largest political party or the political party in opposition. We pose a real threat to the continuation of power of the Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP, stroke Paupa, led by um, um, retired Brigadier um, Julius, His Excellency Julius Mada Bio. Um, suffice me for say, Fambulem, we still try to forget the honorable. It is strange, because first of all, you establish, you are a big man, you are an honorable. You get a calendar. You're not just do the things there because you just want to do them. It's, it's, it's obvious that if you want to do them, you are already prepared for them. You probably get a secretary who will go help you, you know, for notify you when the time go on. You will have done your notification. So you yourself privately, personally, you will get a notification. And like I say again, I'm not making judgment. I'm, um, with the hope, say, maybe the Honorable could join. We don't try for contact them. Um, it seems for the offline and um, um, a fully aware say this program supposed for the on because we talk about um, a day or two ago about this particular program. Very interesting program. But um, um, we will see whether we're able to bring another guest while we wait and see whether the Honorable go tune in. Ladies and gentlemen, um, massive welcome to Una. I am so excited, Prince Emil Cromer. The platform is doing exceedingly, exceedingly well. We are approaching five million, I mean, five million, wow, that's over the top. I'm sorry. Half a million viewers them on YouTube. Half a million. We are approaching. I'm not saying that we have five million. And today, suffice me for say this, I'm excited. When I'm excited, I speak. We were demonetized because we've been getting small money from YouTube. That's no secret. As a consequence of Una way they watch, both the good, the bad, and the evil. The idea that you're watching is of some profit to us. Profit in the sense that we get paid advert. But for over six months, seven months, we, we were demonetized off the platform. And today, some people we don't look for for quite a long time. As soon as I can see Google AdSense, we manage to get the response from them. We get the code where we're supposed to use for begin for monetize with program once again. So I'm really excited because all the talk we do again, not for nothing. So we're not going to begin for see adverts. So for seven months, we were demonetized of the program. For seven months, we don't try to get into contact with Google. Finally, Google stroke YouTube AdSense send we we code so we are back on the track and i prince emil chroma and all the people that we support the platform i'm seriously excited um that we back on the money trail them um we suppose forget honorable abdul kabo of constituency 077 for talk about interesting things where they go on at this particular point in time whether we want to talk about whether the proportional representation they on the cards or has it been taken off? Because suddenly it seems for don't suffice again. The registration process, I they talk about voter registration. 
In two days, we get 80% of the numbers of people and we vote. But after two weeks plus of the exercise, the 20% we left, we still wait for them. What is going on? What can Parliament do? We want to talk about constitutionality. And why use the word shall? What exactly it mean, which is like a must when you see on any side, shall. Parliament shall. This person shall. The president shall. It's like must. So what can Parliament do for someone people in the well of parliament for can ask them questions. There are many things we we'll want to ask the honorable, but like I say again, we go wait and see whether the honorable go tune in because these people are very busy people. So I'm not running to a conclusion yet. We are 24 minutes into a seven o'clock scheduled program. And I don't scatter message, let people and try for contact them and probably involving some meeting, constituency meeting, political meeting, something more material and more statement-like. Maybe the Honorable is on it. But when you get a message there, you need for no say there is a commitment for a conversation on the T and NTV Media Empire platform tonight so we can talk about these things. Because we need clarification. We need for understand. The 21-man committee, for example, Waiting at the difference, if there is, and I suppose there are, when the court say simple majority, waiting at the definition, waiting at the boundaries around that, because you get a nine man, we constitute the chairperson, and then you get a 12 man, when at the parliamentary committee, waiting on the mean. There's so much, so many questions we want to ask today, because what we do here is we try for bring conversation which are germane, which are relevant to the conversation that we have about our country. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the TNN TV Media Empire. I am Prince Emil Kroma, your host. Do not, and I repeat, do not touch that dial. There is more to come. Thank you. Channel, you're available for, uh, sorry, I'm all, hold on, hold on right there.
Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, Fambulem. Um, um, again, I bring fabulous greetings to Una from the TNN Media Empire. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. You 3,000, almost approaching 4,000 subscribers. Make sure say you subscribe to the YouTube platform of the TNN Media Empire. Okay? Make sure say you subscribe to the TNN TV Media Empire. Very, very important that we do this. Okay? Because we are making waves. Today, we've been supposed to forget the APC MP of constituency 077, Honorable Abdul Kagu. I've never seen him miss an interview before, but obviously he's missed this. Maybe he's got a cold. Maybe he's got an emergency appointment. Maybe he's got a meeting with his constituents and you name it. Um, um, these are all possibilities, but we never shut of guests. And um, we are 30 minutes into the program and we are done with that. I'm not making judgment on why he didn't appear and we're not going to bring him on again uh, per, per, per se. Okay, but we get many people that we can call on. Um, um, voices where material, you know, you're not the media empire as well. So one last time, let me just run a quick advert and then we come to the program. We get guests, them who they bring come in. So we'll have this conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, repeat, do not touch that dial, okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, like I'm saying again, we are never short of guests. I'm not this business, but I'm um, um, hey, let me bring the first guest come in. Um, um, he's a known figure. I am loving this brother because he's speaking truth to power. Comrade Keta, you hear me? Comrade This is the problem lately. Comrade Keta seems for the get problem with the audio. Comrade Keta, you hear me? Okay. Come with I not seem for the enemy. So Una be with me, I'll run an advert again. Let me Right, I don't think say come equator. Yeah, come equator. You need for unmute yourself. You need for unmute yourself. You hear me? Thank you. So you hear me now? I don't know, man. I don't hear you, please. I don't know what's in the problem. Yeah, I, think I don't know. Problems. I don't know what's wrong with the system lately, but you need for work on them. Um, you know, yeah, because we get serious business then for talk. This is not only it. We get a few shows the way they come up. Ladies and gentlemen, so come creator, you need for work on you um, um audio audio. So maybe you can put them on a platform so you watch them so you go hear you where they talk so that you go able for respond in kind. But Fambulem, today, like I say, now the 18th of October 2022, this is not the 
T and NT Empire, we suppose forget um, 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 the, the right honorable Abdul Kabo. For some reason, <laughs> Abdul Kabo not appeared on the platform. I've seen him many times. Uh, suffice me for say this. There have been many times who don't arrange meetings or, or um, um, interviews with Abdul Kabo. But me not be able to meet up with them, meet him then they, or then interview them. They. Many times that was arranged. Willing or 110% for whole day interview then they unfortunately are not be able for meet up. Now I want for hold this interview with them. Um, and we had an arrangement, you know, and he's supposed to appear, but unfortunately he not appear. Suffice me for say this again. We know say we get people away actively, they try for undermine the platform. But it, is this going to work? It's not going to work. Like I say, you know, no one run to judgment. But there is not an impossibility, see, such things not they happen because it don't happen before. There has been precedence. But um, um, if I get Koita, if I get Cherno by the African Express for make up the slot, who cares? Who really cares? So anyway, today, we we'll want to talk about clarifications on the position of the All People's Congress, where come Koita able for filling that gap there. And I'll be also one for talk about a few things. Within the constitution, on the ambit of the law. If you think so, you do this to the TNN, you are mistaken because all you are doing, you're just helping for hype us up. You just they help for promote the, the empire. That there are people, instead of being patriotic, they are actively trying to undermine the empire. How foolish, how foolish can you be? And if you know one person where they do that, <laughs> That's very foolish of you. And then you turn around for can't watch and see the consequence of your action. You see the numbers are rising. It may not be to your liking, but eventually there will be all. We expect Chernobyl for join the program. But at this time, we get Comrequita and well, Comrequita seem for they have a hard time with the audio. Comrequita, they have a hard time with the audio, so we don't pull and come out in the meantime. Hopefully, when he come back, he go able for solve that. This thing can happen when you try for play with some kind of a technology where they beyond you. It's happened to me. That's why I speak about it and much more. But let me see. The brother is back. Mm -hmm. Let me add that to the live stream. Come equator. Any difference in the every week? In the every week, come equator. In the every week. So Comic Creator obviously is having a problem with the audio. And this is not helpful because the problem we get now is we are trying to make sure that we communicate with the Sierra Leonean people. Then. So Comic Creator, if you know hear me, it's useless that we need. So you need to turn on your volume, your volume low. So at the end, you see they get me get now, now, which is good. And I get you. You need to turn on your volume. You are very low, my brother. Yeah. Okay, that's better. So that's good. And come equator, if you don't understand technology, left for play with the technology because you get a very important presence in a social media where people they want to for you, you, they suddenly. I don't they see you on the show. Let me kind of contribute nothing it. You know they see me. Hello. Anyway, we the hear you and I important. You are live. You are live. We the hear you, which means that the rest of the world will hear you. Come on, Yeah. And um, we want to talk about first of all the registration process. I they hope forget telling nobody African experts on the program briefly, maybe five or ten minutes, so we will really appreciate it. But in the meantime. Some of the things that we want to discuss with them and honorable Abu Tabu are the registration process. You know, inside two days, come equator, 80% of the registered people then or the result was given. 80% was given. Four weeks plus into the voter registration exercise, that's inclusive of the two days, we are still waiting for apparently the 20% of the voter registration or the numbers, ECSL, which is responsible. And also, you know, man, we, you get the gone, you hear a lot. What's your view, brother? Thank you so much, Prince. You know, 
the, the, this program starts for well before even the registration starts. If you all can remember, we have an audio joint audio with the African Express, so we can first raise the issue about the, the incredibility of the neck, the way and manner how they want to carry this thing. We have a very big issue, who have been called even the members of parliament come, then give us certain assurances, who will read certain things to them say. The registration, they want to do one in a way we know good for the people, they want, they want to use the NIN number as a condition for voter registration. It can be a when all can be a witness to be who's on a book of AKK and tell us that no could ever be a condition. We tell them, say, they want to use the NCRA data for, 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 for collaborators with this neck registration, which you know forever be. They say, you know, they happen. So we started missing it, not even for the registration before the registration, because these are points where we see, we get, we get the, we get the, the, the intelligence, we go to information, we get a, a confirmed credible one, say, nothing ever happened. People being come say, no, we just they call out the parliament, we just they call out members of parliament because we don't know. But at the end of the day, we see them, the NN number not just they're not just put and they be a condition for first time voters. We it gives so many people a disadvantage for let only be registered. We see certain conditions they make they get to the extent that we say any chief within a, any any constituency. Now only one person they can recommend. Imagine somebody don't be chief for over 10 years, over 15 years, over 20 years. That person don't be chief. They say within that 20 years period. They, now one picking for you can identify say this picking is a bit more than bonum. So we started having problems, and all those who know identified before the registration, if I may take with utmost sincerity, they're not taking say we just call out members of parliament for letting for letting stand up more. We never say that they need to do nothing. There are no one who know the talks to understand the problems, will understand the problems, but equally that problem not to any excuse for make them not able to do them for do. So we continue having this thing with them. We see after registration first first two weeks. We said they call 80 percent. We raise the concern. We say no. In any democratic state, one we know they even get a registration by two two weeks because the election they are one green day. So if they get election for over over three million people in single day, why we forget a registration where it can last for two two weeks? We say there is no excuse because the same centers when they use so now with the same equipment then they get for for, for election. So if that is the case, they not forever allow two weeks there two weeks and now. See now post rigging pattern, they deny. They will see after the first two weeks what's happening. We see they call uh, eighty percent of the the, the registration uh, figures. Them twenty percent. Remember, call them. Raise a concern. We say before they go to the second phase of them. Now we know the twenty percent. How the twenty percent? They don't know the eighty percent. They will even know the total figure. Don't get the first two weeks. My brother, it will never see happen. What's happening in the second two weeks? In fact, they don't do. They don't do the second two weeks. They not. They they, they not show the figure of the second two weeks. And now they don't do two days. So now we are talking of. 100% of, 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 the, of the second two weeks, 20% left during the, the, the first two weeks. Now we get the two days, all the figures then, not ever come. And Reagan know they start during pulling the rigging that a process where they begin way before registration. When they start um, in registration, I can intensify. So we give them this tier, we show them them pointers. But as I tell you, we don't need to that. Like I always talk um, and I'll continue to say this tier, say, uh, we always at the time itself with people like you, like the Africanist press, because I know say when I put country above relationship, above political party affiliation, above friendship. So in that regard, or they always identify ourselves with people that we say that puts a low force. They understand what's in the dynamics of the country, understand the pains of people, they understand the ramification. If in case this election go in the way how the people let the government water, we all know we get five miserable years. Lego tanka, we want million to can get another five worst miserable years. So we point to this thing. So for me, we don't expect anything where it will satisfy me. Rather, we expect we can get another big argument with the government, with NEC, due to people in carelessness, due to people in the accept criticism, objective criticism. So now make some tendency. If I listen to the police, we can praise you and say, hey, MPD, we want to thank you. I do. No, no, no. We say, we give, we tap in the back, say, it's your job. You have been paid for this job. Nobody forcing for can tell me about parliament. Nobody forcing for life to lead our proposition. They're not called nobody like how they talk here to priests. Now you tell me they left so you walk your money that is paid for call some of you for cows who said now tell me they left. So many things follow can talk here. So if we say this thing, let's say this thing for see that so we know this we need to expect for get better anyway, as I tell you, we expect for get the worst than ever before. If we not be careful because twenty percent they don't know the figure city today, second two weeks we don't know that in the two days up to now, next no even good results. How many days to the community? I don't know. This are this are the these are the reason, Prince. MM Comrade Comrade Quater, many, many thanks. Just a quick one. Um, um I will remove you briefly so you go adjust your camera to a landscape position because right now it is on portrait. I think you use them on your phone. It is mm -hmm. on portrait. So if you can adjust them into a landscape position so that we get um, um a professional kind of view in which 
it is a 50 50 um, um, sort of position yes of course you understand that so you swipe down and go yeah that's it okay that's done um many thanks first of all for taking up um, um the last minute of time invitation for filling into the into the slot um, um really do appreciate that and um, one of the things that we want to discuss with the honorable Nae, you just address so of course you will have addressed it probably in the same way but further in a different fashion because he's an honorable but there are a few things what i want to bring to you because you are out regardless of what they say about you you make it clear you out and out all people's congress um, um, Comrade Kweta. so my question you know here to you Comrade Kweta, is um the all people's congress seem for the at log ahead with each other in other words the thing what they try for say the committee that was set up by the judiciary the adrian fisher you know yeah, sort of a um, judiciary if you will like he declare a 21 man committee but equally split the 21 man committee between a nine man comprising of the chairperson and then a 12 man comprising of the parliamentary representative them and say it will be governed by a simple majority but as we talk now there is some conversation around the simple majority and what it is supposed to represent. Again, you know, man, we get yes, now the ground, you know, man, we get connection. Even with the parliamentary majority, you get a um, um, connection with um, um, the main man na parliament and few others. I wonder what you know your thoughts, um, Comrade Quater. Comrade Quater, you mute you mute you mute so you, for me it's like so you please so you have been mute if you can right. remember the time when they pass the judgment the very day i make it 15 minutes audio challenging the judgment i say we're supposed to challenge that judgment of course i say because to me the is not clear if you two people that go fed in a court then you make a decision say they form 21 man committee then you say simple majority without specifying how they form the simple majority i say if i don't say one Anything under the syndrome as 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 a simple majority, but be five men from the Alfred Peter Conte side, six men from the parliamentary wing. If we anyone anyone short ten, when I need when I need the able to take decision, meaning Alfred Peter Conte for no see minus the six man them in able to take decision. The parliamentary for no see minus five man in able to take decision. So me I get problem. That thing they say because we get for see different argument. The twelve man office say okay, they say simple majority, so we get rights for me the decision without the, the nine man. Which of course we know say it's not go ever possible. Just that the time I no go talk say because then say if they go form a quorum for 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 meet meeting without the twelve man, we know say not possible. So I saw that thing. One force me say me no go ever accept after Peter Conte because what you been going to court for? What you been holding for two years? Selection. Say then they they not for select nobody. Now in the court go selector for be chairman. Which me say I no go ever accept in leadership. Then I say because we day in this kind uh, uh, this time this time of the party, the most difficult time of the party. I say one. If we will know, say the court for tell we say now because that two group there are anything on our system, it will be five from the uh, from Alfred Peter Court or six, or and five from this or six. I see to them, we know now say in any case, they all get for Sidon for let the big decision. So because then they fail, we say Alfred Peter Court take upon himself say that court stone and chairman. So in the overs, in the override, the entire 21 man committee, especially the parliamentary wing, when a day, now in the let me play that for represent the party. So we see. When we say when I go to court, law go court, let people interpret this thing properly. People begin say no, when I left them, all man can talk again. Okay, so, so of course we don't be at forget the the tick uh, the tick that just like you prince. We all man go talk, but we still stand for TB. We don't see after six months now. The lawyers then go to court now say for let Fisher go interpret TB and say why make you only do one for the past six months. So the episodes today so for today within a very difficult side. The people, the supporters, the members they are ready for effect change. But the leadership will get for now. You are the party around for now. Prince, somebody like it or not, we are not in a very good position as a political party. Matter of fact, them tell me, one year or two years from before election, when a foreign girl applied for a foreign running executive. Let's go back to 2002. Prince, when he lose the 2002 election, we've been getting so many court cases. And I've been up to 12 court cases. Then. But because then the party been getting focused on APC, we're going to apply 207. What they did in 205, we we'll got a convention from executive, we we'll get Flavia. So, and as Kuma, two years, he will massage all the, the apart in different routine, routine company. Them. We see we get a big thing in 207. Look at 2018, just after 20 election. All kind of them then come. Then talk all kinds of things. Then choose Samura Kamara, NRM Kaisa, we get NRM, we get NRM 2, we get a Peter Continuum faction. We see so this today. 
eight months or seven months to elections will not get flagged at city. Seven months to election, the party will not get an executive. These are some of the truths some of who stand for. See, because we know the ramification. If out of negligence, who mistake, let go tanker one million, let go tanker, so we continue to pay a for APC no more. <laughs> for everybody, because we, there's a low money they depreciate to all man they feel that for me, from the south, from the east, the north, northwest, and western area, all they feel the same pain. Even at that's where you are you feel the pain because the money will be central. We pull in the manager, they send triple money day. All man who that day. So it's not about APC or SLPP or me being supporting candidates. We all just so uh, of course I have great connection to each and every member of parliament. But they know that they give them with certain in certain areas because I know see salon like me put forth and the APC party bigger than all of us. So if I support you person, I know they support you because I want to let you be somebody else, but because you stand for the people. If I need to support you, I need to support you because I know see you don't lack what me wants, and because at this point in time of Sierra Luna, the most difficult this time we pass the FRC, this time we pass the MPRC era, it passed during the war. So all for look at the bigger picture of Sierra Luna, all look at the party. And, you know, at least I look at them this and SLBC. You talk about sensitive thing. They say the party don't know people don't attach themselves to people them because me they support Cheriku, for example, at Lukabu. Anybody who supports you know support Lukabu, when they post an enemy, or they don't oppose them. That is the problem of APC. We got people not attached to pull the party party, so then they see the danger with the behind the party. And I tell you, Prince, in a sincere manner, the APC party as as it stands, so if we not pop up, we look at we look at the bigger picture, which is Sierra Leone and the and, and the APC party, we are not we are not heading for winning. I'm very sorry to say this, but it's a circus of fact because a house will divide, a house will not unite in election politics, not time. Time is a, is a essence in politics. Prince, you know, we'll go day two months to, to election, three months to election, still of flag bearer. In any competition, any context, please, people and therefore get small. So we thought that that's not it. So at the end of the day, the party is supposed to move now. So this is so much. Come on, Chris, I will not lose you audio a little bit. I didn't hear you, but you're very low. Okay, okay, do you get me now clear? Yes, it's fine now. Yeah, carry on. Okay, I say in, in, in the future, the party, eight months, therefore, don't see now, okay, no, it's not put all things that said, no, can get a, a leader. Law gets people, the law gets flagged, the law gets way forward. Time not enough people right now. Matter of fact, they don't let far. They accept when at the way that the income, they don't get flagged. They don't get executive running. We don't get executive running to TTD. We get executive selected, we win a court giving. Not to see how we vote for them. We don't get flagged by rights. It is true. All this that team they will have points at all for us here as a party. We know see this thing not good for you know good for the APC. You know, even good not forget, you know good for the APC. As an APC, somebody just come out of governance four years ago, then they opted this team. Eight months to election, they don't get executive. Eight months election, they, they, they don't get flag bearer. How do you want to also they win? They have to say very big no. Winning, they start uh, in a preparation, you know, in the army, they say preparation before battle. You know the way to where you go to war, and I tell you, I'm going to get ambition. And I tell you, I'm going to look for your weapon fire. And I tell you, I'm going to look for your weapon if you weapon good. No, you're going to lose the battle. So we, for those sit down now, this short time will get so. Based on, let me tell you something, Salon Pule ready for effect change. They pull a non tire that the APC party needs for Pule self together. And let me tell you something, we know they go put it, we know they go, we know they. Pray for longer party or probably worse than SLP. The commander before be the last person who will ever allow for cancer alone for cancer alone to be uh, prince. Okay. I mean, Kokita, many thanks for that. And you say many things which make so much sense. And again, as a man we clued on, we get yes on the gun, I ask you recently, the party ended up again in a court. Your beloved party, the All People's Congress, ended up in a court. Before I intimate me your view, I wonder what in your perspective as to oh, ma'am, how this thing play out. What do you think about this court procedure will happen within the last um, 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 week or so that the party was dragged into court again, apparently in terms of contempt by the chairperson? What in your real take and um, come with uh, Please, is it? Then he said sometimes it's better to do that never, but sometimes it's better to let it be The party, the lawyers, the most, what my, my, my disappointment, we have lawyers in the committee. They knew this thing. Alfred Peter Conte not being flout the court order from day one when they, when they, when they select them to be chairman. The new time is not in our favor. When the system of them triple and feel or take offense, we don't care about what you will take offense, that's just the truth. If they mean, no, say six months ago, Alfred Peter Conte not being flout the chair. Why they not be going to uh, fish? We fish and tell them, say, in the judgment, say, Whatever tuna on an old side, on a can to be like a in capital corner. Fisher tell them. So failing for, for letting them go to Fisher for six months to me, nobody will tell me any, any, any excuse for that because we're not lawyers and understand the laws better than me and you, please. Some of us we are not lawyers. But we say to common sense, we understand what Fisher say. Fisher say for anything on when I get anything without on account to me, like I experience on a better. Now they wait six months. 
Six months don't go before they say now let's go to fish. Let's go explain to them. Let's go explain what's in the happen. Uh, uh, Prince, what's in the happen from where they pass the judgment? What's in the happen after they appoint people left four months ago? We appoint them and then uh, qualify black people and others who can uh, in the media who can blast who talk talk who say no, 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 for act when those the committee. What's in the happen? No, we go to fish. Attend it. So to me, also, I, you know, not just that make me tell and say I'm going to support any court again. Law will try for get yourself together and try for get a convention. We get an executive. We get a flag bearer. We we'll move on as a party because going to court again. That the same drag we didn't drag for the past two years. Then get for go. Okay, almost in the nongo. Please, I know we make no judgment for clarify proper clarity. That tells you we are working in the in the in the, in the, in the in, with the plans of the SFP because this is a the plan. They put in a court. Follow the golden way. People are able to see this thing. We tell them when I look at the trajectory how SFP want to. They want to at this level. So that we it, they make a law. You come back and court. Come back and court. So the court for me is you not important anymore. What's important? No, we try to get ourselves together. We get, we try to get a, 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 a executive from lower level. As long as and move executive, our better, better content is finished. It's not to be seen. So before can, what, what we get for him in a court? Uh, Prince, how many are these? Within a court, that don't know who to run some money. We get no executive across the country as a main opposition party. You know, it's a disgrace for all, even can't say an APC of all people for the eight months to election. We know, we know, flag bearer. Eight months to election, we know, we know, chairman. Eight months to election, Unu Udana Sectional. Eight months to election, Unu Udana Organized Secretary. Eight months to election, Unu Udana Youth Leader. You know, every part. Eight months to election, Unu Udana Regional District Chairman or, you know, everything is, you know, we there in a very different position for now. Let me can tell you, see, the APC party, if we not stand up, people will not forget about this thing. Court loyalty to people, them. They begin call things by their name. I'm afraid. That is my take. Yeah, many, many thanks for that, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say again, I want to welcome another brother in um, um, a friend, a well-respected man within um, um, the journalism community. He's made his mark. You can't take that away from him. And it's none other but um, um, chairing of African Express. Um, but, but that's what we've come to identify him by. We need to grace this occasion on this platform where an honorable feel for attend. And if you do have Comrade um, Kota, and, and you do have um, um, Cherno Bar, Cherno Alpha M Bar to African Express, Express. <laughs> what more would you ask for? Ladies and gentlemen, um, can I bring um, Cherno Bar live on, on, on the platform here today? And this is not the TNN. We, we talk news, we mix the news. Um, Cherno, um, um, can I say a warm welcome to you? I'm excited, you know, I haven't seen you for days. I know you've been on the road and patrol, and probably you want to tell the people there about your patrol where you depart, uh, and this is an opportunity. Can we hear from you, please? Because there's a lot of Sierra Leone and they're waiting for you. from you. What's going on? Thank you very much. Hey, no, I, I don't want to continue, please. Before Cherno talk, you know, I want just take the opportunity, you know, sure. as I don't tell you, see, in the absence, you know, there are two possible, one possible that admire for many, many years because I possibly don't stand for defense saloon for over 20 years because many people can't know for no Cherno, we can in the African Express begin of pull them tier. But pull them people like this man don't do them tier, not just on the on SFP, he started it way back from the days of the. Late uh, President Mumu era when at the APC at very young age, the MPRC era they battle for local democracy. Tijia Kabaka, Mr. Sisi, need to go try one time. We battle Tijia Kabaka and the SLPP. So it's been that person. You know, each political party don't praise one term and, and criticize one term. Now we don't see now we don't get a time now we. Now everybody when when they talk about government, the opposition clap for our way talks until we go to the opposition, they then go against them just like you. So you know, I'm possibly at least say Sierra Leone for you minutes. We they look at people like this who all at this age. Maui don't stand long, many, many years ago. He'd be when he'd been very young, put in life. So we always get that high respect for our men. I believe, see, many people they look at Cherno Bar today as an example. Many journalists will look at it as an example. Some of them don't lay in life, left in time for who politicians them wrong. See, Salon, money, no to money, person could just eat, it will go in vain. And what I want to see, some of you they look you as an example and they follow that step like the thick skin you don't wear for many, many years ago. Well, um, many, many thanks for that. And Cherno is on the program. Cherno, it's all yours. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Kweta and uh, Mr. Prince Kroma for inviting me to this show. Of course, are they on the road? Um, yes, uh, since October 5, I don't travel across the US, mostly the east coast of the United States. I've been there in New York. Uh, they follow up on the investigation into the 
New York Times rebuilding as an unknown famous case. Um, what do you make that story the important and the fact that we don't publish almost um, nearly 60 to 70 exclusive reports on corruption in Sierra Leone, covering almost every sector of the administration or all the major sectors from the president in office now, they go right down. So, but you know, find out say, since the New York Times building, the government decided to take on that <laughs> as their own interest and uh, uh, change the evidence, ignore the evidence and take the story and plant on somebody else in head. Because obviously by the time we publish that story, already the government may face serious international pressure. So then uh, uh, we decided to do a follow-up. I think many people who really they watch me now don't already see the three videos we don't, we don't release on the site one on the front of the building, the second one right on top of the building, and the third one at the back of the building. I got a couple of other videos again right inside the building itself, where they show Arata, then where they show Kakroch, then where they show all kind. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so so I even evaluate because it's so disgraceful. I show my colleague that where we go at the place, the thing and say this is this can this cannot be the United States, right at the center of Manhattan, where you have embassy buildings, diplomatic buildings. In fact, the neighbor and I first showed me, say, you see this hole outside and I had the other time the community, the cross car inside the house. You know, I, I have to literally, I have to literally as a Sierra Leone apologize on behalf of uh, we country to these neighbors of Sierra Leone and tell them, say, we are a big good, a big good. This is not, it's not who we are as a country. Unfortunately, we just get thieves in power and only thieves, but what makes the chance building story so obnoxious and show uh, uh, dangerous that the fact that the decision for indict uh, the leading opposition can the leading opposition politician it came from the advice of the opposition politician then self 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 self. So that that the thing where we decide for updating the next story, opposition politicians in the APC where the rival against for fed the union flag bearer uh, competition decide for advice Madabio and use the anti corruption just like they have used the anti corruption in the past for go after the union politician in the party because of their own flag bearer interest. And this, I know I will say and I ask perhaps a breaking 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 update. That's why I call I know we call them breaking news, breaking update for say in the subsequent publication that's coming out in the African Express, we delay this one beer. So Una we wanna hand this out and name the the can come inside it. So this because why no why why we decide to take on this initiative and the fact that Going into that building, going into that area as a Sierra Leone, and it's shameful. I get an, I get a video, in fact, where we were first arrived at the place where the video, people away the pass, now they come meet me. I get another video, one other, like a black lady, black American, come meet me. Say, he said, the people who are here may have run away. He said, he said make we buy the building because I abandoned the building. <laughs> because, you know, it's so funny, that video in itself is so funny that me and my team decide to say, we're not going to publish it because it's ridiculous. Is ridiculous. So we're, I'm, I was caught between the image of the country and the decision for expose corrupt, dishonest politicians, and realizing that I not get no other passport where they carry, other than the citizenship of, of Sierra Leone. You know. So if anything, um, the politicians in the APC and the other opposition parties who are supporting this madness should be ashamed of themselves. By looking at that building, that's what I. That was a message I was trying to convey by bringing out those videos and making them too real for people to see. The evidence is glaring. People away thief money end up for become witnesses. People away work in a foreign affairs ministry under the APC used as witnesses in a matter that has nothing to do um, in, with the evidence that have nothing to do with a politician who had left office. Um, you know years before this incident happened. So, I mean, in all the commission of inquiry investigation, the forensic investigation, every other investigation will happen, nobody mentioned the chance rebuilding. The subject became a subject of discussion in Sierra Leone and outside of Sierra Leone after we published. Not only publish the build is abandoned, but show exactly money that came to China in 20, towards the end of 2018, 2019, and how that money was looted out of the account between 2019 to 2020. And when the construction starts, and the fact that they not pay even the contractors and the neighbors, we have interviews. I don't interview the neighbors. I interview the lawyers representing the neighbors and almost all the other interest, interested parties. And you see, the case has been ongoing endlessly in Sierra Leone. I, by the last count now, we understand that uh, they're not adjourned the matter more than 50 times in, in, in Freetown. 
So we got to be uh, honest about what kind of country we want and what kind of uh, image we want. So that one of the things that we uh, decided to do on my trip for check on this building and focus on um, an updated version of it and look at the embassy, not just the that building, but also look at the New York Chancery self self. The New York embassy now said they don't move going at the Ugandan building, how much they are paying, how much they lost by their continuous flight from Uyun building and, 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 and abandoned. And then one aspect. Second aspect, I've also been meeting with press freedom organizations, including I, I visited the Committee to Protect Journalists for also highlight the growing attack on the Africanist press and associates of the Africanist press and the wider Australian public and show how opposition politicians and both the parliament and their supporters have been sending threatening messages against me and against people, uh, including uh, then and now and other people that we stand on the question of truth, that we, we threat is not just coming from uh, Mother Bio, but alliances that Mother Bio has built from opposition politicians in parliament, the NGC, the APC, and other politicians. So I have submitted, um, we are making a, a package of all these mami costs and death threats. I get, I get audio from... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, people always say that they, that they represent, uh, that they support Cherry Coco. Don't call me, send me audio messages, say how we go die in exile, and all of those things. So, <laughs> so what I have decided to do is to also make a, a a file of all these threatening remarks and show, say, in as much as some of these people, they say, me now, uh, opposition, me now this, me now that, both the opposition and the ruling party, not all the opposition, but the opposition supporters of opposition leaders in parliament, and the ruling party, when at the young party, then jointly don't decide to attack me and, and threaten my life. So I have also decided to take the, that evidence now physically, not just write about it, but take them now physically for go hand them over to people who are no say go no. So if anything were to happen to me or happen to Prince Koroma, happen to Comrade Koita and other people, so they know the first people that for hold Nacheri Koko, Kande Yumkela, and supporters and, and, and Madabio, not to just Madabio, no more that. If anything were to happen, if I work on the street of America, somebody shoots me, gone now. And kill me. The first people who went for hole, Nacheri Koko, Kanda Yumkela, because then supporters and don't threaten me, say, uh, one of them will say by December, me go don't go down my knees. I would don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, it's the only record. So I, I take, yeah, it's on the record. This is to me, Mika. So I, I don't take that statement and they very seriously, and my colleagues and take them very seriously, would they hand the evidence and they so if I go now, say Mutka bang me in the street now, they're gonna say that they're not send Mutka for can't hit me and, and kill me in the street. So they will be held responsible as political leaders. Who are ordering their supporters or who whose supporters are now insulting and threatening me and threatening my life on their behalf and they haven't issued any statement uh denouncing that so i want to make sure that the world will hold cherry coco because of his supporters and statements and their traps against me hold mother Bio responsible hold fatima Bio responsible hold uh kanda yumkala responsible for the actions and threatening words of their statement i'm saying it here publicly that is i have decided to take this we equally need for playing audio. There is a lot of my evidence. Oh, no, yeah, definitely no. We can't make them because some of them so concerned and mommy caused the inside, and some of them said they come from from people away, away, we belong to ethnic groups. Full of full of people, full of the body away the same. So not to one, not to one. Yeah, I have written, I have written about mother view, written about every other politician, and this insult of coming from. So whether you now full of person, you are saying full of man audio now, you audio, then they audio, till they audio. Uh, they compile all their audio and day and, and messages and they and submit them to global organizations. So people, the people that will have the first thing they represent, the first thing of that was created, they don't say why the report and the report stay in a cherry cocoa family. Because they're not going to know statements. We don't write a letter. Any new member of parliament and parliament attack me and attack African express. We write a letter of this family, you know, reply to us. So that means he endorse the action of and we threat against African express from APC parliamentarians. It's coming from members of known members of parliament and their supporters, supporters they are that so when a member of parliament is attacked directly, directly and supporters, and supporters of the APC are attacked me alongside with them, them. we know it's authorized, know it's authorized by the APC in the parliament. parliament and we don't write a lot on that so i just want to say that then a part of me i was also at the imf meeting in fact the imf meeting i meet a few stereonians inside the people who they see me some of them they're not good for talking to or some of them, if you talk to me, they say, we have that, they say, no, I'm a professional of you, they say, where are you, you see? So, it tells you the level at which the things we don't go, where people are afraid to sit with you in public because they fear that the politicians are in there, when they help, when they represent them, but they don't want to fall out of this room. So I have that. 
but um i will provide more comprehensive, more comprehensive updates regarding the tech hopefully by uh the uh, end of this the end of today i will not stop it down but i just want I for thank you for giving this give me this opportunity for community and not have make a challenge one other epic and this man then why said people really they don't post me just send me audio there what you mean i don't do i don't help with confidence who are going to stop me of the ongoing attacks against me on the effort of my leaders and really sending them to try to criminalize me and i keep repeating i have not insulted anyone i have not asked anyone to use violence i have only done the job that i have done for the last 20 years i don't begin right at least in 2002 you go, you go look article level you write about it you were mad at you no no be don't come as you see it we are talking about the donor power we are asking one of the parliamentarian not the member for the president i do i have interviewed you and asking when you was a position leader i don't criticize or not about bad governance and corruption before even cherry could could become parliamentarian so i have been there in the position but that same position was maintained from 2002 to 2022 uh still maintained and i've been writing on the same issues across regimes across, across parties the very politics and the maya we the same as well as okay we will provide you and again the evidence of that both in the past when the media power between 2008 to 2018 are refused and they still try to bribe me that are still the same position and the same on the same and i'm not an enemy of any politics and i stand on the question of good governance and accountability i don't tell i don't say that it only i don't tell that the good organization my position on the sardin question has been consistent, consistent. it yeah. all my writing you take the african, african stuff and error in the right 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 for and you see the same issues that right right about so if i decide to take on una mami post when una audio when una video and other not to do the na go cross me that no go change me change what that right to you only tell you to find me with evidence for sure say una leader and no fit to be leaders na violent people and that enterprise of violence we don't sponsor na the country for the last period because the only way they don't go na power na for sponsor my because and and, and the pot violence they keep okay 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 uh, i just want uh, to use this to tell us i am also taking action on that front to expose them not just on corruption but also that they are responsible, responsible for this violence and putting the attack on me and i'm sure that there, there will be millions, millions of people them who are excited by this adventure and again i want push on push on some of the things the way you say But, but as a usual as a advocate, advocate of um, um, body language channel you look you look pumped up this up evening and on the way to the time on your side look quite excited and um i love it i and i should say come quick as if you observe that but you look quite excited and pumped up no, no, what's behind this if if you may ask <laughs> you know uh, uh, i do you know every year i do i do seasonal boat rides i take i take boat and do ski i go and do that you know so for the last uh, this, i do that every june every june so this time i was lost so what i do i have a lot of things i do i take the boat and travel near the river and airport so that that refreshes me going so it, it renews my energy just peace within on the water that i want to have the most important thing Now the fact that I'm now we don't ready to expose mother bio and allies right so that determination no wind that we don't ready the fire we are below the fire pass and now we can enter the real corruption and now the lead will go now with the center focus on parliament and how parliament of contribute to this disaster we mother bio for four years so it gives me real um strength and and energy for this we we'll get a lot of revolutions ahead Okay, okay. Um, um, many thanks for that. Not just you say certainly me in particular. The idea that you look so excited, so pumped up, so chuffed, brother. It makes me excited because whatever you say, whatever you say is good news. And the idea with waiting you don't they do for over the last many many years. And the idea that you look so excited and I'm sure since the Alliance are supposed, supposed to be excited as well because that means you are quite satisfied if you can give you in terms of what you do you that means we are making progress um before you come on channel um, um this is something we don't write about echo, you know, the sound the echo if we correct the sound yes because somebody they watch the program mm, 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 
simultaneously as with the live streamer. Nice streamer. So maybe so if you watch him, you need to turn your volume down. No. <laughs> Yeah. Turn your volume yeah. down zero and which you watch I'm on. And that solves the problem. No, I mean, I watch that's, okay. that's where it's coming from. Somebody they watch on live. Just turn just turn your volume down zero. And I think say somebody don't do that. Because I know they really uh -huh. back echo again. But many thanks for the observation. That's exactly what to happen. But check now, before you come on, um, um the conversation will be to get me and um um um, um, um comrade Quater, and which will be one discuss with the honorable. Now, something where you don't write extensively about, very critical about them, um, one of the voter registration processes. I mean, I mean you, you and your organization, organization were responsible, responsible for making it known to Sierra Leoneans as opposed, as opposed to, to waiting to exactly to go, on go on with the, with voter, the voter registration process, process that corruption, corruption $10 million, dollars, you know, yeah, yeah. Corrupted, corrupted by the ECSL to NEC. No accountability, the process of vetting, the process of bidding by companies, everything fall under the corruption hammer. And you and your organization highlight that. But today, the question what we want to ask quickly, I don't ask from a already, is about the registration process. Two days or more into the registration journal, 80%, and you write about that, then declare the results exceedingly, if I can use a biblical, you know, yeah, sort of terminology. They write about them, say, this now we don't get. But at 80%, 20%, two weeks plus, four weeks, six weeks, we are yet for a really 20%. General, your, your, your thoughts, please. No, no I, I, I think, say, in the first place, the, the opposition parties like Parliament and the, and the Electoral Commission and the Mother Bureau will not be one, 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 one with the register, really. Because, because their rigging the strategy has always been to suppress voters. That makes them introduce a new, a new election law. law. And, and because there are lots of people that, I think we all, and this, all, and this, this is something we have to, to uh, thank ourselves and thank the people of Sierra Leone for their determination of push forward registration. And we also get to salute the intervention of the friends of Sierra Leone, the national diplomats and other organizations, we encourage registration. You know, so. A lot of people are still left behind with the registration process because there was no insufficient time in the registration. But I, but I think, and I believe, and I believe see, the numbers come coming out, out. <laughs> no, no, it beat the, 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 the original plan. plan. The people who are in the election, they are supposed to vote. Me don't get, me don't get past 20, 25 people in the way the economy inbox, or no, the subgroup they were, they can't post this pick. Uh, uh, data. data. Say, hey, look, 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 look the number we register because they want, they want us to say something. something. Because they don't know that we expose the public election due to the reply for hide and that we expose the corruption, that we expose the fact say the number for those particular post we do them. So the one for us to know what we know, how they try to cook the the figures, you know, or see what kind of mathematics they will come with. We don't tell them this. We are we are waiting for them. Make them, make them, but make them number one thing. thing. The, the database of ECSL, the database, the database of statistics value, value, the database, database of NCRA are, are not secret. Not secret. You, don't you don't understand? understand. They can they be can accessed, accessed and they can they be made public, public because, because it's public, it's public information. information. So, so we still want for hope and encourage the electoral, the electoral commission of Sierra Leone for activism. And provide, and provide registered the voters, voters, the people who have registered the opportunity for people verify the registration. But any but effort to delete names name will further disgrace the, the electoral commission more than they have already been disgraced. So, <laughs> so, so I am really not worried about, worried that. about that. At the least in, 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 in the world. What, what I think is important here is the fact that parliament will resume today. Parliament is having a good the very day, the day we August 10th protests are going to police the kill people, the killings that take place, they run away and go hide on that bed. The day on that bed, take two months, two registration done, the people come and they now come up. And they tell the people, they say, they go complain about registration to the EU, to America, to foreign diplomats. Now, after registration, they also try to help the electoral commission for at least fake numbers. When I see the press release, they Abdukabo, which I don't which want, I don't to, want even to comment about, about, but the facts of the matter, matter parliament decided, the parliament decided to go on the bed two months after we 
this trouble that all don't happen. Now, wait and come. What did they discuss today? They discussed a new health bill. The second thing we're going to discuss tomorrow, according to the order, we have a pass a central intelligence act. Uh, national, security, national security central intelligence, intelligence law, law and have a pass the, 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 the political parties act. Act. they're not getting not nothing on the agenda regarding registration they're not getting nothing on the agenda regarding the corruption now now it says they're not getting nothing on the agenda regarding the violence with the killing of innocent this is what you think we have a parliament and members of parliament and we don't care nothing about the national interest and the interest of the citizens that represent they are they part of the problem. They, they accept what is happening. They are, they are part, part of it. Of, and there is no way they can no excuse themselves from it. That is why they do not include that on the agenda. So, so that that is the problem. With all this trouble, when they can't sit down now the whole meeting, they do not find an interest in, in inviting this to parliament, parliament, investigating the corruption scandal. They get 10 million corruption scandal, which is less than less than. Less, less is two times the, the current procurement case we can get on the country. But, uh, but uh, if not, I've seen supporters of NGC and supporters. So, so, Chero, Chero, sorry, I know I know you're part of you, but of course, the back blast still did it. Not of you actually listen to the same program over the air because somebody that it's not me, definitely. So, me trying to get some negative uh sound, maybe exactly. So, with it. Yeah, it has to be one of us. Definitely, it's not me. I don't get any of me method and tune on for you. Know, it's just me. strictly. I don't know if it's me. Yeah, it's probably you because now you speak now and we hear a lot of it. So okay. probably the what if you watch them on an alternative no, no. channel or you just they on. So maybe you can just click mute on other apparatus the way you get. I know the other apparatus on. So you see, every time when you talk, we hear the echo. So it has to be you, brother. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes, it has to be you. This security test chair will no. fail up. No, I don't <laughs> think none of me system, not the all. Now you see, it don't stop. You must have clicked something very oh. smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Well, I, 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 I don't look anything because I get all my gadgets. I just don't turn on. Now they say, but at least you write on me the work, so maybe inadvertently. Well, I look at the look. I mean, the look was But I don't say anyway. But wait, wait, uh, wait, uh, will you agree that the bad blast is gone? Yeah, let me go to the military yeah, battle, battle, battle. Bad blast. Yeah, but let us say this. Um, like I had been to talk about parliament or resume today. And the other paper in parliament, when they resume today, make I just read the other what in parliament do today. Then we'll go yeah, before know and evaluate. evaluate. So you see, so, you so see. this is not going to be on my end because I still hear the echo. So, but make I just um, read the other paper what parliament get today and also what in them plan for discuss tomorrow. Today, when they meet, um, what did they do? In fact, the record of votes and proceedings. For Wednesday, 11th of August 2022, the Taiwan member from 11th of August to then away. Today, I think two months, more than two months from where Parliament ran away, Parliament ended on away, left the country, left the Parliament. That today they returned two months. So they get the motion, <laughs> and the second one is called a motion announcement by Mr. Speaker, motion of the committee on appointments and the uh, public service for approved people. Eh? Then they get a propose a proposal for honorable a proposal. Or proposal by Matthew Numa, seconded by Honorable Hassan Sise of APC, that be it resolved that the third report of the fifth session of the Committee on Appointment and the Public Service be adopted by the House. So it's in about, not only they care about. And the next thing we then do, then table a bill in the Parliament, we the Public Health Act of, two, of 2022. Then yes. do introduction and first reading. The Minister of Health was there, the second reading and committee. So even this, now even they tell people what they do, but tomorrow, yes. What do they have tomorrow yeah, on the yeah, agenda? Maybe we'll do maybe we'll on for the next five minutes, but if you're not able again, that's all right. Thursday, Thursday yeah. on the 20th that's October, cool. then they get for meet again. What do they have? Record of votes and proceedings. Then get for discuss bills. And the bill now, the Public Elections Act of 2022, where they go second reading. Come. Nobody not even noting that the Public uh, Political Parties Act. Then they get uh, the Attorney General also will be there. Then go talk about the National Security and Central Intelligence Bill. We go second reading, the chief minister. These parliamentarians not, not feel say they get anything for do with the registration. They don't think say they go invite um uh ECSL for talk about the corruption, then they don't even have it on the agenda. 
after two months of this crisis. So this I tell you, say there is no way you can excuse Parliament from this kind of madness where they happen. So this this will tell you they do not have on the agenda in their minds in their heads anything that has to do with the people's interest. What they have on the agenda is their own selfish interest, their agenda, the agenda of the regime. So not to remember, not say they not get the power, the strength. These are the people they cry say they, they have been bulldozed after two yeah. months of running away with the deaths and the madness, the burial of people and all of this, they have the power, they know what to do. They don't care. These are the yeah. MPs. These are the MPs who okay. want Salonians to the defense. So anyway, but I think say now this now the not some of the things and this. So I will not we will wait for ECSL for release then the records. They still have a time not to disgrace themselves, continuously disgrace themselves again. If they do, we could be more than willing for also help the people foresee. Uh, how they are continuously disgracing themselves because now they don't see 10 million, they never account for them, they drive for not for register people and people are not register with all difficult people and try to the register pass, how they be one for people to register. Now they want, <laughs> yeah, they want to announce their own result, they want to announce their own number beyond what they say. They don't, they don't get sleep, they want to take the sleep now their hand back, say they don't vote. <laughs> Chero, no. um, um, Chero, many, many, many thanks for many thanks for that, brother. You you never stop from, you know, you're kind of amazing me. And remember, say again, Fambula, just a quick reminder, we've been supposed to forget Honorable Abdul Kabo, the MP constituency, 077, for some reason, you know, appear on the platform. And um, I've been saying, I know one for make judgment, but this is unacceptable because even if you know they come as person of that kind of responsibility, they, if you take we serious and we take you serious and you understand your responsibility within the national an international frame. At least if you know the appear a program where already you had acquiesced to, you may not agree to this, then definitely you will put out a bulletin or at least contact me for say, oh, because of X, Y, Z, I will not be able to attend the program. But as we speak, you haven't, sir. And um, um, I take this quite seriously. And we know say there are people out there we need for begin for call them out. We want for undermine the platform, and I have no doubt because within the same parliamentary section, we don't get parliamentarians. Then we answer to we call. We make we for understand. Say before then they come to the program, then try for influence them. Say oh no, go because of X Y Z. This is so shameful that like, you can't take it because the question them we will ask you. However. If you do have Cherno Bar, you know, yeah, the, of the African Express that make up, you know, yeah, the position for which you be supposed for um, um, can represent, who cares? Who really cares? Because then the conversation becomes even more critical. Um, um, Cherno Bar, um, of course, we don't talk about the registration process and I still want to be on the registration process. And this is not a question. The ECSL is not performing very well. I'm not saying you equally don't make the case, sir, um, um, on the power of parliament, even though they try to give you a different kind of impression. But it bothers me, and I know say it bothers a lot of Sierra Leonean as to why with everything where they go on within the ESL and the voter registration process, their parliamentarians there, they have never been able, at least for table emotion. And now they talk about constitutionally speaking, and I want that we understand this. If we go to the constitution, section 86, 1, 86, 2, we give you a clarity on when parliament can be summoned. And I'll not say you talk about that briefly. But why is it you know, for keep them um, straightforward that um, um, parliament has not been able to bring ECSL forward for ask them about this result or particularly waiting to go on, on something as important as voter registration way for determine the direction in which the country they go. Yeah, it, it, the, the factors are clear. In the first place, we have on the line say parliament and then try for give ECSL the legal authority for uh decide the legal legal authority for suppressed voters. Now we expose that. And even when we expose that, Parliament went ahead and gave the Electoral Commission the the responsibility for for do illegal registration or registration without reference to law and an and unprecedented way, reducing the number of days for registration, making it difficult for people to register, and adding requirements to the registration process that are not supposed to be, including um, you know, violating the constitutional right of citizens for register. So all of these illegalities emanated from the parliamentary action for pass a new electoral law. So that is one. 
The most important thing, why the rationale for that, we don't talk about because members of parliament and the leadership and their leaders are already complicit in an effort to give Madabu a second term. They don't want to hear it, but that's the fact. And anybody who cares for winning an election will act differently. I have been a participant in elections. I, now we, the first biometric voter register was, was produced under our own watch. You know, one of the observers, most critical observer. We police the registration process. We insist on that. This was when the APC was in power leading up to 2012. We were taken to Belgium to even verify the voters register and made sure there was no duplicate duplicates in the registration. You know, so I don't explain that separately. And the APC people, them, including Cherry Koko, they all know, say this is the process. So 10 years down the line, you will not expect that we, we will still get this question of registration difficulties. So they decided to compound the process because they, they want to make, help Madabu uh, rig the election by making sure people who are likely to vote for him in areas where the opposition potentially has support in Freetown and other parts of the North are unable to register. And that's where registration difficulties have, have been encountered. In the, in the South and the East, they even have to force people to register because, you know, they, and, and they left Freetown where people want to register, but they do not have an opportunity to register. So now dishonest politicians, there is no way they can explain this. The people the way they support them are people the way they don't get the promise. And this all stems down from the simple fact that Terry Coco and the and the other APC people them, them want in their fight for takeover the young party, decide for Gango put Madabu for, for displaced the young party elders. And they and that are the most dishonest part. And 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 they sided with SLPP. And this, this is a movement they've been building since 2010. It's not it's not new. It did not happen with the with the collapse of and they don't destroy a lot of people in the process of, of fighting for power. And it's, it's just that we we have been able to see the full picture now with what it on, unfolds in front of us. And that is what they're trying to cover up. So you do not- Chano, you want, you, want, you want to take any call? I get one with regular call away the call. I don't get a problem with that because I get for go. I get for, I, I'm- yeah, Okay, this. continue, continue, continue then. Yeah, that's why I ask so, you as a matter yeah. of respect. The thing that you don't expect, I don't don't expect them. They are unhappy. Both these parliamentarians in the opposition, the supporters on the street, they are all unhappy because these are two of them in the field and don't pull out without the people they're knowing. So you see the the meaningless conversations when they try to initiate this information, distraction, deceptive campaigns. To the extent that you, if you remember, in one of these programs, I lay category of disinformation campaigners. They don't blackmail even a young company into silence. And then they use corruption as a, as a dynamic enable to take on the corruption what they publish because they never wanted corruption of BU to be shown. Then just one corruption of the Yun party people there for be shown. But there is no corruption that happened in Sierra Leone in the 10 years of Anes Kuruma, where you can excuse leading members of parliament, including Terry Koko, for example, who was head of all the, the mineral committees, accountability committees, and even to the extent of becoming a deputy speaker of parliament. And no agreement not passed through parliament without his involvement. So how can you hold APC politicians accountable in a COI and you left him? Now he's the de facto leader of the of the APC. Not only that, they has disabled the APC from functioning. And the APC people not even want for, for recognize that. They think by recognizing that a problem. And his supporters, including his ethnic supporters, are insulting me and threatening me because I've said that he is a danger, not just to APC, but a danger to SLPP and a danger to the country. And he has to be exposed. Because if we not do that, a major problem for the country and the peace of the country. He's, he's one of that danger that has to be identified. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm happy that we are able to see now not just what is happening now, but what, how he has arrived, where he has arrived. And, and it's, it's an opportunity for us to discuss these politicians, their contribution to the, to the post-conflict crisis and madness, who we don't get from 2010, at least from 2008, right up to 2022. And this whole, culminating in this, disaster that we have in front of us, the murder of innocent civil, uh, citizens, both police officers and uh, civilian civilians who have died as a consequence of the, the treachery of these politicians in power, both on the opposition and, and, and ruling party from parliament and, and, and the executive branch of government. And they don't want to recognize that. And not only that, they are also backed by lawyers who, are, who have uh, condoned this lawlessness that's happening in the country in, uh, in alliance with the police. Which is why I'm happy that there's some intervention now for put sense that the police man their head so the people will know that they are owed a duty. That there is a way law enforcement can operate without yeah, this. Mr. Uh, no, the guests no one take any call tonight. Um, um, so I'm really sorry about that. No, Giam, Giam, make it. Okay, hold okay, well, on, okay, hold on. Now you say you say go listen to what you want. So, so hold on, please. Hold on. I'm going to round up now and go away. Yeah. 
there's something um there. so um, um just identify yourself quickly so you call from and then you go straight ahead please hello yeah yeah they get you yeah That's identify right. yourself where you are calling from and then you can go yeah, straight into what you are saying i recall from new york yeah, yeah fire away I please actually participate by the program but as you say that just a question i will ask for now because as it's showing on the, uh, the platform okay go on now the listing but we are even the issue i've been bringing up to mr warris recently when you be doing that you know, like sunday we have the listing we had then play an audio where silver blood in and they talk uh, um, in favor of murder being wealth even quote African expressing a lie, telling about a lie, human is not involved in any embezzlement or mis uh, financial misappropriation. They say no, get no proof, you know, get in talk about that. So, now, so well, since Mr. Badi on what you get for say about that, because then he will not say like a quote, like political prostitute and proselytes with the, the, the beat the drum now for murder being wealth. So, you go you make an audio where first, the first we lead the term, we lead the talk with him, the cost cost arm. Then eventually, now we don't do it, matter be worth. You say, you know, do nothing at the best first lady we will ever get. They say, even the coach, we African coach, they could say, the involved, it's in a lie. You say, the woman, no, do nothing. See, in fact, Sanya Makuma involved more than uh, that woman. Did. So, that woman, you know, I'm talk. So, that's the Mr. Badi on the line. I just want to bring up if you get anything for some of that. So, anyway, so, many thanks for that, Mr. Ba. Mr. Ba, no, you, you, but just before you go, What's your uh -huh. thoughts about what do you hear? What do you <laughs> what do you think? No, me not saying I like the lie, of course. Okay, because many thanks. Many thanks for that, brother. Let no, me, me let me give that. No, I don't believe that. No, this government, they, they no, no, but you bring you bring and come up and there's a reason. This government is corrupt. They need to go. No, it's yeah, I, I, I understand you. I understand you, brother, and many thanks for that. Long time for the program. I saw the whole I just asked this question. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It has to go, but it's good that you observe your view. Many thanks for that. Let me add the question to Mr. Ba. Mr. Ba is live. He heard you clearly. Mr. Ba, please. Before um, uh, last, before February, no, before January 2021, Fatima Bio is on record to say that she has not received a single penny. From any government, a single cent. He say all the money we they use now, money we don't work for over twenty years now. England now they spend, even water, they not even give. What? What? Water? Water? water. water. You don't understand. <laughs> when only talk on Sierra Leone, he talk on England, he talk on na Gambia, you yeah. know. So what in the African Express show that the fact that we provide evidence say what the first lady was saying is not just false was a blatant lie that not only that that the first lady has is a cons is a consistent recipient of public funds you don't understand so that's now what we show and we we'll only say we we'll only talk about we show the evidence and when we show and the first lady come back in anyway, we talk to the receive money say yes indeed they receive the money so whosoever want to talk say if do bad or you not do bad though the fact of the matter not that in the first place we caught the first lady lying publicly internationally and we show and say the lie and since we publish that, they don't show continuously again, say they receive money every day, including travel per diem, budgetary allocations. And not only that, they, they, the state provided over 10 billion euros to Fatima Bio for fund in second wedding, the wedding anniversary, you know. So this is something nobody can deny now. Yeah, we, it, we say now, it was it has, has any, funded at has all by lady, government. Has any first lady received money before? That is up to them. They want to believe that they, if they want, they will compare now. One one hundred first lady will receive, but the fact of the matter is, That's up to them. I have looked. I have looked at the bank record of Sierra Leone for the last thirty years. Everybody that work in a government as alone in the last thirty years that has received a pin code, pin code. We don't get pin code in a saloon. If I if I want for look how much money they be receive salary or travel per day, I can whether it's inside government or not inside government. That's how I will reply. So then the and I'm saying Fatima Bio, the current wife of the president. Is not only receiving per diems and travel money, sixty thousand dollar, forty thousand dollar, but it also receive active budgetary allocation that we have not seen. She has a separate bank account for the first time that was opened in June 2022. Not that first lady did not say that. Anybody get other evidence? Provide it. They know they want to deny it. So they never provide. The only evidence that's out there is the evidence provided by African Express that Fatima Bio 
is a constant recipient of public money, including even last week he received money, including even if I check now. If I open my eye right now, I will show you back say, hey, yesterday I don't take $10,000 or I don't take $20,000. I can do it now. If I had to do it right now, I'd show. So <laughs> for me, we, I've gone past that stage to look at how much Fatima Bio is stealing or is, is taking from public funds. I'm thinking about why has parliament and the opposition where they defend these transactions, things that are normal, has not taken action. So you see, so it would have been a different argument if you take, say, Fatima Biu, say, more we'll provide evidence, say, they receive money. But that is not the point. The point is, we had a first lady. Did she say she was receiving public money? No, the only thing we admit, say, they receive public money when we show the evidence. So what do you want to argue about? Did, okay. and, I, and I, I don't like to quarrel with people's opinion. Anybody who want to believe, say, even the money they receive with Fatima Biu, they take in the name to your pocket, they go. Now the person in your pocket, they go. Now your business. I, I, I mean, why do I have to quibble with somebody regarding fact and evidence? That's it. That's here. All right. I'm, um, I'm, um, anybody, sure believes in, anybody believes in that rubbish? I'd invite them. I'm going to court and can we go to court? We, they, we, you know, no, no. Be... I mean, that, that would be a complete waste of time because you've been doing this for years. Tati, they nobody know, okay, you're going to court. They can just talk them for through American man say red meat to the fumble them, you know, yeah, for things say action will be taken against you. Well, up to this day, all the allegations that you've made, nobody has successfully. Not even allegations, you say know. all the evidence would unpublish. <laughs> no. Yeah, e e e exactly. But yeah. um, um, you get for you get for Gocherno, and many thanks, you know, for um, um taking up this opportunity on an emergency basis when we call on you and you able for can attend. This is a true, true um, um, um example of um, um duty to country. I want to talk about Lara Pia still. No, you know, say at some point you and Lara then try for peace una together. Say yeah. all the information where you really get now from Lara. I don't need to go back into that. But all of the things they want to ask you, are they ask are they ask you in a different format because you already don't address these things, but it's just necessary because sometimes with people them you need for saying things over and over for letting get them. Now Lara was taken off duty. She was suspended allegedly for lack of professional thereof. What a cheap shot taken at a very professional woman. You also don't say, and you did on record say, the parliament is complicit because parliament could have taken action in terms of what happened within that remedy. Lara Pia still was suspended. Why parliament not summon the people who use the opportunity for suspend Lara? Yeah, the, the point is because because if you come to investigate, you can find out, say, they had a role and a hand in it. Parliament had identified, parliamentary leaders had identified the African express as an obstacle to their agenda. The same way, because they want Mother Bill for continuing for a second term. And the only way Mother Bill will do that is by eliminating their contenders in, the, in their political parties, by accusing them of corruption. And now, if corruption is published a rope in Mother Bill, then definitely that will not be something they would like. And if they have an audit service, if they're not able to take on the reports and, and the audit service report come out every year, they should say what the African Express publish is basically validating what we have published. Or you read the audit service report, then you look at African Express, you will see that the same thing. There's no difference. So not to say they were they, you know, they 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 advise that Lara should be sacked simply because they no one for carry the burden of taking on this uh when, when you say when you say they Will you no, define are, if Parliament? If Parliament comfortable, forget um, an unqualified uh, auditor. I mean, somebody with a chartered accountant serving as an auditor general without the approval of Parliament for a year shows you they are comfortable with the dismissal of the audit service. The audit service, absolutely, uh, auditor general. And so in that case, they, they don't represent the people, general. Let me just uh, finish this point. Uh, that clearly shows say, they were they are happy with the sacking of the auditor general. They just pretended uh, for tweet about her, and they know say uh, after one two days everything will go away. This is this is their Lara is just one, but over one hundred and seventy internal auditors have been removed from the audit service, and this don't rip the country of the internal audit mechanism that the country. And this so that wasn't well publicized. That over yeah, one hundred because, because of this top woman and these people are already in Saxo. Letters in the document that they say exactly because they suspect that they provide information to the African Express. Even now, as we speak, for the last two weeks, they are harassing 
people in the ministry, I mean the central bank, because I think the information relating to the um, uh, electoral uh, commission and corruption, the 10 million corruption, documents regarding that may have come from the central bank. We just keep quiet. We just say, because people, these things happen silently. Then they purge people and harass workers, not because of halting the corruption, but for making this information not come out. Find these so people who they think. So now so don't be surprised. Be... Now I think they, now I think they don't realize they, they made a mistake because now whether they sack Lara or they're not sack Lara or they sack anybody. Not to the, not to the party. It, it doesn't stop the state. So now they're finding ways. Then the, then the opposition, now we cannot find out say they don't lose credibility internationally. The credibility of the regime, the opposition is down to the gutter because of this complicity. Openly they expose themselves. And that will be the try for for do really for expose the government say that lie lie they don't fight corruption not only that they expose the fact say the parliament again is complicit now they don't realize that they've been exposed so don't be surprised when they tell the judiciary on arrest state lara but they will be ashamed to do that so the fact of the matter is we don't decide say whether them the one they sack everybody in the government and sack hey, then sack themselves or all that sack sack themselves there's going to be more publications on corruption as long as they withdraw money so it could be fair for say general it's a smoke screen the government not get no intention for being moral for being upright no 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 no, um, no, no, no. Um, no they, they, have, they have no such intention if they, if they have that intention to stop corruption they will not be fighting to silence the african express they will not be fighting to criminalize us the opposition party then the parliament and the government for the scheme for talk for time for implicate we that would cause violence that would write in the inside people eh? to the extent that they make organization they're all waiting down and they fund the organization and they want to attach to it this is all this yeah, way. but how you go? Yeah, I mean that's countering the statement of government. But let me ask you this, Chairman. Um, um, so you are opposed to them, and the way how you oppose to them, you they tailor evidence to that effect. But they keep saying, "Well, this guy is against us." And if you they make the case, how would you make the case? You just simplify and for with people and for understand. I do understand. I just they ask you for make the case. The government they accuse it, but this guy is just there against we. Whatever we do, whatever we try, I mean everything he say is just against us. No, no, no. We don't make these things up. If you, if you, if you get the wife of a president where they say no, they receive money, they lie all over the place. Go to Gambia, lie. Go to England, lie. Make video saying that money they spend. Then now we find out and say no. Wait a minute. Here is millions of dollars being given to you. More than ministries are receiving. They do you know we hate government for sure that. If Mother Bio take five hundred thousand dollars for going at the United Nations, we return in knockout nothing. In, in four days, five days, we show that in a hit rate government. If if then take COVID money away for going at central bank, they go keep on a UTB. We show that in a hit rate government. If then if then for take ten million dollar for buy a computer, then for me people they register easy one, they not buy the computer, then they take the money, they not award the company way correct. We show that in a hit rate government. The individuals who steal public money uh, and deprive the people access to social services. The good roads, electricity supply, decent classrooms, decent hospitals, and the and the journalists who report about the theft of public money, who is the enemy of the people? Who is the enemy of the country? The journalist who shows that money is public money meant for the public good is being stolen, or the politician who steals public money? That is the question. We are not holding a gun on anybody's head. We're not, we're not help any of the people who have a thief money. We just show say they're not thief who country money, taxpayers' funds. What is the crime we've committed? If we've been taking bribing at the hand now, even when they want to take small part of money, not even give you say when I set on a to say no, we know they do one. We tell the people eh? So those of us who have committed ourselves to showing exactly how public monies are being stolen, how public money is meant to provide electricity, water supply, good roads, you know, decent wages and salaries for public sector workers are the ones that are criminalized and insulted and threatened, and people are trying to even kill us because of that. They leave the politicians who are stealing money, who are participating in this deprivation of social, who are committing genocide against the, the, the public by their theft of public resources. Because when you thief money away for being hospital, anybody who at the hospital, you not get medicine, you not get paid for it all, he die. You're responsible for that person, they die one. And there are yes, many. You know, I, want, I, want, I want to say something to that. I want to say something to that effect because that's corruption and that's what you have been highlighting for the best part of um, your career, which is good. And so many millions of people do appreciate you. But for conjoin that with recent happenings, let me talk about thing where you know exposed as well. The $10 million corruption within the voter registration exercise. Yeah. We spoke about that lengthily. 
Yet we see the process still the unveil. It may not look and it not look righteous. It is not. But waiting can the people derive from this some kind of an advantage for them. These people are, are being disenfranchised. Then people are winning on disadvantage by the criteria where they set. For example, first time voter them. The criteria is clear, but they not afford the people in that opportunity day. So all of this is kind of meshed in with the kind of corruption where they talk about. How can the people gain something out of this if they're not disadvantaged them? No, we get to, we get to, we don't talk about this before in your show. You and I have spoken about this that there's an active relationship between financial corruption and political corruption. When politicians make it their business to steal public funds, they will steal elections because they need stolen power to protect stolen funds, stolen wealth. So this is why corruption is dangerous. The theft of public funds is dangerous because when leaders become accustomed to stealing from the public budget, they will definitely steal elections. Because the only thing that protects Mada Biu and Fatima Biu when they all are saying over oh, Blandusa because they have power. They control the judiciary, they control parliament, they control all of the institutions, including the anti-corruption commission. So nobody they steal public money with impunity. The day they leave off, they're going to be hounded, they're going to be arrested. They know that. Uh, possibly anybody that wants to pursue that will pursue that, especially so for a government where they don't can't say. They don't do a travel ban against politicians. They selected politicians in the opposition who they accuse of having stolen money. And they have not provided any evidence to show that other than the statement from commissions of inquiry with no bank statements. And here we are. If we say, Madam, you don't take $1,000 of the show exactly. The, the time, the transaction, you know, it's so precise detail, live. So any politician in that capacity that is accustomed to stealing money and is not willing to, to avoid stealing money will think of how to stay in power. And how to make sure if he's leaving, or he or she is leaving, is somebody that will protect him, that he has shared that part, that stolen wealth with, that will take after him, who will continue the theft. Now that enterprise then end up happening in parliament, and end up happening. And this is why we, for the first time, we have a difficulty of talking about voter registration. Voter registration not like crossing the Red Sea by foot. This is the problem. So, this is why trans we cannot have good governance accountability without accountability. Uh, Transparency and accountability and the fight against corruption is a critical component of democratization. It's a critical component of free and fair election. It's a critical component for justice, for rule of law, and all other things. So everybody almost that has a vested interest in Madabio and protecting Madabio and saw an opportunity to inherit Madabio's stamp or has been involved and implicated in the corruption of the Bio regime that we have shown in bank statement is scared of the election. And there were a businessman then, journalists then, civil society people, academics, everybody. So for the first time, we have eviscerated the superstructure of, this, of the political elite in Sierra Leone. And this is very scary because for me, I'm happy to do it because for the, for the 20 years, I, I was looking forward to this opportunity to, to eviscerate the entire political class in itself. And I'm so, happy, yeah, I'm so happy to see their intestines, their corrupt intestines right in the public. And, I, and, I'm, showing, and I'm showing this recalcitrant Attitude, deliberate effort for say, I'm not going to relent for Duam, and I'm continuing to do it too. And I just begin. So, you see, so it's a the meetup is stubborn journalists too, because they are stubbornly stealing, and I've decided to become more stubborn than they are determined to steal. So, that, that, that thing they cause this wahala. So, so then they try for thief power now for say, huh? they're not going to carry the consequences of the defeat. And I'm also saying, even when I try for thief power again, I will show say when I, thief, when I try for thief power, show say when I thief money, show say when I want thief power. And how on a plan for thief power. So this is what has made me uh, some kind of a bitter medicine to both the opposition who were clapping for me and dancing for me, their supporters, and the ruling party that they were that they are trying to assist. So all my all my different taste the bitter medicine one way or the other. And I'm here and I'm here amused with few of my few of my friends. And I keep saying the truth does not require a crowd to be told. It just requires a few determined men and women who have decided to make it a point of duty to tell this truth regardless of, of how people feel and i'm really happy to be to be to tell you the truth and i'm becoming much more excited to even tell this truth right in their faces yes i'm 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 chair no i'm, I'm <laughs> so many so many thanks um, um i've seen you in a few in a few moments brother and i'm um, i'm really happy for you you really do look happy 
as a social scientist, I am really trying to pry my brain is like, what is going on? Why is Sharon so happy? Is it no, the road? I'm, I'm, amused. I'm, amused. I'm amused because, you know, I can see the, can you see the gut of, of the corruption in the country. You know, when you are sitting, when you are sitting in the pedestal, like you're yeah. looking at a movie, yeah. you know, a skyscraper view of a, of, of, a, of a football match where you do not miss any of the action. <laughs> that kind for those people who look at the Premier Leagues or any other uh, European League competitions where they go to game, it's not so outside, it's comfortable. They say all things more than yeah. the rest of themselves. So that's the kind of the amusement satisfaction you get, is what I'm getting right now. I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I will let you go within five, ten minutes, and it's only because I'm really, really enjoying this. And like I say, I mean every word of it. Um, 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 I see, I see you, and forgive me, I'm repeating myself. I see you really happy, and that makes me happy. And the reason why it makes me happy is because the level of concentration and focus, you know, yeah, that you're putting into the work that you're doing for transform your country. And look, you use terminologies such as for eviscerate the visual attack where you get on the enemies of the state that you sit down at a pedestal where you know, look at them and you see their guts, you know, yeah, are like um, coming out. You, you know, it sounds really, really extreme, but we understand the analogy where it is exactly you mean. Because these people are so cruel, they've never factored the population into the equation for say we will look after them. Instead, they can just want to come big full way. So when possible, like you come on the stage and then you begin for out them such as what you're doing, and then you see that is bearing fruit, which I suppose hey, this is the joy that I see in your face. This is the smile that I see in your face tonight. And you day on the road, and probably you still don't want to give we something, but I shall say something don't happen because you are meeting with people, people with material, with jam into the conversation, where they change the dynamics of the politics. And that's what exactly you're doing. And I'm excited. And I know say that they come soon. And I want to tell you, thank you so much for that. Cheno, um, we disadvantage first time voter them. Sorry again, it sounds like a repeated question, but there's a caveat around um, this one. First time voter them. It's clear to me, public election act. Again, I take the cue from you. You talked a lot about it. You tweeted a lot about it, and etc. And I uh, study waiting you tweet. But yet still, these same people then go ahead for disadvantage. The same first time voter them, whether not opposition people them in parliament and um, the um, um, ruling party. The Public Election Act expressed some concern as to how first time voter them for carry themselves out. But yet still. The same people and don't honor that. Even though I repeat again, Chairman, it sounds like a repeated question. And the reason why we can do that now for maximum effect, because we know how we people in the land. What did we learn from this exercise? What can we do? Where are we? And how do we go forward, Chairman? The only thing I is shame because all over the world, democracies are rated by public interest and public participation. When you get an election where 90% or 99% uh, voter turnout is recorded, then the quality of governance, it gives absolute legitimacy to any government where it emerge. And that is how people begin to trust the government and, and relate to that government. I am not, you know, opposed to, if the people of Sierra Leone think say, they want to elect Madabio for a second term, let them be able to do that in a free and fair competition. Then uh, if peop if anybody wants to emerge as a candidate against Madabio, should be able to do so in a fair contest. Cherry Kuku and other people, they're not for trying to use the court, use the PPRC, use the police, use the Anti-Corruption Commission, and use Madabio for tilt the competition in their own party against candidates that they pretend to favor, but they do not favor, because that is rigging the democracy. So all of these, I think, um, what has happened since June to now that we've exposed Parliament and Parliament's complicity in this, it tells we say uh, our democracy is in crisis. And this crisis is something we've talked about on then and now. And, uh, and, 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 and not only in crisis, but events like August 10, uh, tragic protests and all of that represent a conspiracy um, of this class of politicians 
who have decided to wreck the country and wreck the peace of the country just for their own selfish ends. If anything, we thought we had made progress democratically in a post conflict environment. We don't reverse those gains through the collaborative treachery of these uh, handful of politicians in parliament and, and, and the executive branch of government. All of these devil do with greed, theft of money, theft of children. So, um, young people, you know, young people, we become enthusiastic, we don't become educated around on their own through the use of mass media technology, the internet revolution, the new technological revolution have now been disillusioned or have been kept out of the out of the, the central uh, avenue of political dialogue, political discourse, political participation. And what you do when you push this greater sector of the population to the margins of power, you begin to encourage violence. And this is how alternative ideas about how to take on politicians who are corrupt emerges. So this is why I keep saying, we do not need violence. We do not need vulgar language to change the society. Me believe say societies can evolve through ideas, through the proper understanding of things, through education, through civilized conversation. We can have a disagreement about what it takes to build a society. But those disagreements can be expressed, we will able to express them in a peaceful way. This is what the politicians wear, the tifu country money, you know, they no one allow. And, and they, they, they hide behind the scenes, prepared because they have failed to become national leaders. In exchange of becoming national leaders, they have now graduated from not just from being corrupt, but from being using corrupt money to become entrepreneurs of violence, owners and managers of violence. Then they sponsor Mamikos, then they sponsor Riot, then they sponsor protest, then they sponsor self-arrest. All that kind of sense there in unnecessary in a democracy. So this is a, is a serious backsliding of our democracy, which is why I appreciate the opportunity where you give uh, Mr. Mohamed Warise for talk about the, the democracy on the brink. Your platform has been doing tremendously well by taking the courage for for allowing the opportunity for at least introduce sanity in this mad in this madness that is going on. We I will assure you your platform that the hope of Salon. It is an avenue where these voices that we are using, you know, without this is impossible. It's impossible. So I sit here all the time praying for your platform and ha being happy and celebrating what you've provided. You might not know and on the right the significance of this, but it's tremendously important. So make a talk say, for me, looking at these young people who want to vote, videos who, who we produce of young people desiring to vote and the active effort of politicians, political parties and institutions for suppress them and prevent them from, from voting, it's a, it's a serious thing. Not only that, the same institutions, same politicians and political parties and groups are using the courts for exclude other their young companions from competing. So we talk about this. The strategy is voter suppression, and candidate exclusion. You cannot build democracy by that process. No, it's not helpful. And the only thing we're making the type of this, now for the whole idea of stealing is just theft for thief public money. So it is sad, it's a sad, it's a sad thing, but um, one cannot cry about it. We just have to act. And the action that you have taken, the action by providing this platform to we and giving us the opportunity, tirelessly sacrificing your time, is no small thing. It's a historical yeah. effort. Mm, Cherno, Cherno, many thanks for your kind words, your sentiments. It, it has been reverberated and it will be reverberated through the hills and valleys of Sierra Leone. And every day, not in massive numbers, but I do get people like, for example, today, got five people away call me the program with me and communicator do regarding evangelist something. It wasn't personal. It was just a national duty. It was a call of duty that um, um justice is not being served that's what we try for do and for but thank you um, um so much for what you say and you once more remind we of a public duty the way we did do that somehow maybe we don't realize them now how they are paying off but um, um it's got a long way to go and as we speak today i talk about earlier on before you the sign on you know, we platform be monetized before, and that monetization was deprived of us, you know, yeah, some six, seven months ago. Don't they struggle? Because, of course, all of this cost um, um, money. Yeah, I mean, you time with the input into it. So some of them, um, and payments that we can make, especially Google AdSense, YouTube, it can help for offset the cost. So for six, seven months, then demonetized, we, we could not advertise on our program. I don't fight left, right, and center 
almost contacted you about this thing because you're in America there and see what you can do about it. It's like, no, no, the brother is extremely busy and not good around. And I try for talk to Warisi as well. And then I change my mind no. And I continue for persevere. But as we speak today, what I have been one show is it's just it was just a matter of code, and I continue for getting wrong because of tax code mm. and this and that after seven months being demonetized. Finally, I got the code, and the point I'm trying to make is we got them from Google AdSense. As soon as I can see the back of the letter, we arrived today in a post box, and this is it, it's a code. So we platform one small go be monetized. The money not a big deal, but it can help for underwrite the cost and give you the courage and the zeal for continue for persevere. And for this, I want to say thank you to you and the many others we don't they participate. I think I'm recording, I don't come again, but until it feature with in video, then we go be and come on. But you know, here is the thing. I mean, we're closing down on this program. There are keywords that you use, very critical, very powerful, entrepreneurs of violence. Mamikos is never been the currency of change. And all of this is so very philosophical and so very true. Um, um, and we find out, say, we opposition, they are collaborating in treachery inside the very parliament we're supposed to afford the people of Sierra Leone justice. Okay? And young people, we don't become interested in technology. I paraphrase you now because I listened to you keenly in the last one, two, three minutes when you were having your go. Young people don't become very interested in um, modern technology. And the more they try for sideline them, the more they are getting interested in the technology, which is the weapon of choice for this modern era where we did. Ideas. For a civilized conversation, not a conversation based on mamikos, it doesn't really help. And we see the mamikos discourse, can I say this publicly, is becoming redundant because why? That is not a currency of exchange. It's losing its value. And that's due to people like you, the warises of our time, and many other people. Cheno, um, we government need the help with very much. You've been very critical of that. The opposition, as we know them, is not being really, really helpful. Waiting, you go advise we the people, we the people for do for continue in this struggle for mass emancipation and um, credibility and um, freedom and justice and unity. No. I think we already done the do um first and foremost uh one for um uh you know listening to you about the monetization issues show the sacrifices under underlying the sacrifices where we all the go. I tell people that we don't need for for write a newspaper or write about salon for make we survive. <laughs> but we do these things, we do these things for assist is community service. Um because we can all not keep quiet and remain silent in the face of this destruction of a homeland, like going into the chancery building and looking at the wreckage. I felt bad. And I said, I said they apologize to neighbors. When you talk about the challenges the platform is facing, you know, financially, it just reminds me how much how much sacrifice you've 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 made. But for country, you I think say uh we're in a better place if today. We may able to make voter registration, even though in the type of thief election, it don't become so difficult. Like for swallow a rock, you know, this big uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, or you say you take a camel, you pass them through the eye of a needle, just like the Bible will say. That's why you don't turn for the politicians in the parliament and the, <laughs> the ruling party. We see mother view that now with the MPs and now the neighbor for they defend very happy people not register. <laughs> that hotel you say, if it was so easy to steal the election. They would not have gone through that that difficulty, but and that became a difficulty for them because we are all speaking out, we are all not sleeping, we are raising the question left, right, and center. No matter how few few we are, and no matter how how much effort is being placed for marginalized, we our voices and our efforts are really producing the results that we want. We just have to be resilient in doing that. No matter any kind of psychological game, any kind of. Uh, Kalu Kalu talk when they bring more we know say then they bring the Kalu Kalu psychological thing because they know we are effective and we are really effective. You just have to look around and see how 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 much stress 
the system has been on the, in terms of trying to steal a democracy, trying to rig a democracy. With all the elite collaboration, all the finance, all the money, all the effort, they still are unable. Then get the media and salon, all the radio station, all the TV, then still the country is winning on Facebook. They're not only satisfied with that, even when they try to <laughs> they still try for hack your page, they still try for hack your platform. They still have uh, absolutely, so, yeah. Tell you say, if, if what we were doing was not effective, was not produced with all the mega, with who, who, who will care? Yeah, who will care? So you do not need the APC, the SLPP, or NGC, or any other political party supporter for tell you say you're effective. You should be able to know that you are really effective on your own by the attacks you receive, by the insults you receive. Otherwise, nobody will care. So that's what I want to say. Um, I just want to encourage everybody from where we continue with effort. The truth, I repeat, does not require a crowd to be told. It just requires a determined group of men and women, no matter how small they are. As long as they make it their point of duty, the persistent telling of that truth is going to produce the result they want. Cherno, I'm, I'm, Cherno, I'm, going, I'm, going to, I'm going to let you go. It may sound like my last question, but I shall say it just occurred to me that we get a question before that. And because waiting with it do now for try for inform we population generally into conscientization. So therefore, this is this is the thing, General. The we we parliament, because of course it is um, um, ours, a clear as per the constitution. And you know, person, we very familiar with the functions of parliament, mm. legally speaking. So, what thing we do know when parliament they on recess, when parliament they on break or then close, the differences, the technical differences. The reason why they bring this come up, channel is this is not the thing we can use for try for big fool, for big fool, we the people. And luckily, we get a person like you working, you know, you educate the broad masses of we people. Then. So when parliament day on recess, like typical example, when the president be won the midterm census, I believe say parliament be day on a recess. But the, parli but the president use presidential prerogative as informed by the constitution and make parliament for can seat so that it will make that in case day for a midterm census. The point that I'm trying to make a journal is there have been few things in which the parliament, as we speak now, they on recess or been day in recess. And waiting parliamentary opposition them, where you have been very critical about don't they do, now waiting the people that expect them for do, and then they make way for understanding that they can't do that because Parliament Day on recess. But what we they understand and with knowledge on that is limited, and you are a man of vast knowledge that the constitution provides it. As long as you get this amount of majority, which we believe say the opposition party gets probably 44 percent far above what is required, they can therefore summon parliament if they want to deliberate something. I wonder what, what whether you understand. Understand because box so whether you yeah. understand where I'm going with this and why parliament do not use this prerogative as opposed to the opposition for someone parliament for letting can discuss a serious thing such as the voter registration and all of the things that really happen and many other things then. Yes, uh, you you're clear. You don't say, say, say um, section eighty six subsection two of the constitution give power give power to parliamentarians twenty percent of parliamentarians for if they request. A meeting of parliament, the speaker is under obligation for uh, conveying that meeting of parliament within not exceeding a time frame, not exceeding or within uh, two weeks. And parliamentarians now exploit or make advantage, take advantage of that. And the APC alone get, um, you know, <laughs> two times that number, that percentage. So if you combine NGC, of course, so you don't see. But now even more forget about even the time of recess. Now they don't come on recess and start parliament today. Today, they had nothing on the agenda dealing with what has happened in the two, in the bad, bad thing that not happen in the two months that they were away. And on the subsequent meeting, they have nothing on the agenda regarding what has happened in the last uh, two months that they ran away and were hiding under, under their beds while these problems didn't happen. So if they, have, if they had an excuse for not calling an emergency meeting of parliament, they do not have an excuse for not including the issues that matter 
in the proceedings of parliament, uh, especially the Nongai one sitting today and leading up. In fact, they are including on the agenda of parliament more draconian laws, laws that violate the rights of citizens. The National Security and Central Intelligence Law significantly is more dangerous than even the uh, cyber legislation. The Political Parties Act is more dangerous. It violates citizens' rights more than the Public Elections Act because it deals with the, the right of citizens to association and they limit and monetize the right of citizens to association. So what Parliament had, has on the agenda right now to discuss are laws and legislations that destroy the civil liberties of citizens, not anything that protects the right and civil liberties of citizens as we have experienced in the last two months. So this tells you Parliament is cool and okay. Members of Parliament, including the opposition leaders in Parliament, are in agreement with all of the bad things that are happening. This is like this I look at them, I look at them, and I ask them why they don't make this a priority. So um, anybody with, uh, with a try for, you know, sugarcoat this situation or try to offer excuse for this situation, not possibly way, really, now either that individual is part of the process for duping the people or the individual is himself a victim of being duped by the dishonesty of these politicians. So that is that is the plain truth. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you for this time. I know say uh, talking about Sierra Leone will not be sufficient in just a <laughs> it will be a comprehensive discussion. But um, I will appeal to anyone for me to continuously support them and now they've been very wonderful. We don't come to a point where outlets, platforms that support the opposition, who we are featuring, or whether they use we, we are we voice for, for their crowd. They're part of the organized effort for discourage people from participating in the dissemination of our information. But we are relentless. We will continue this. Thank God we 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 get avenues for use for broadcast. And one of those avenues is then and now. And we want for continuously thank you for the opportunity. And we'll continue to pray for you <laughs> also. So may, God, may God bless you and protect you in the you know as we fight this fight yeah, together. We are winning and we should be happy for the progress that we've been made. In a struggle for sanitizing society, change the society, we count progress. You know, it could be yeah, brother. You are you are you are absolutely right, and many thanks for your prayers. Um, um we it, it sounds like light humor, we have a laugh over it, but I know you say I'm um, with some degree of um, um, uh, power because you understand what it means. You understand, you know, your psychological warfare. And I know that because why well, you're a pan African is at most, a socialist at most. And um, these are things, you know, yeah, where you kind of understand. I've been watching your profile and I'm following you like hell. And I really appreciate that. But um, um, eventually, good will always conquer evil. It's difficult, you know, we are winning, just like you say, and I absolutely agree with you. In the end, we will prevail. Some of the things that we've said, we we feel vindicated. Um, 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 the, um, um, how you call them? We do few programs prior to um, um, August 10, um, um, post August 10, and um, you can make me for understand exactly the difference we make you know, yeah, as opposed to waiting transpired then. And that was a huge moment in history. And we know we've gone down in that mark. But I equally appreciate you, Cheno. Um, um, finally, um, um, the last word, if you can close this program. But just before I uh, cede the, the mic to you for letting you close the program, just for saying thank you so much. Um, we've been supposed to forget, Fambula will be supposed to forget an honorable on the platform, honorable not turn up. Did you hear me say honorable? The honorable will not turn up. N neither did he send anything for say, oh, sorry, Oda, Anobi, because we are almost like two hours, over one hour into the program. Say, well, it be deeper meeting and what have you. And even apologize for that. But does this matter? I don't really think so. But like I say again, I will reserve judgment. But I'm always happy that we get a platform with credible as you hear from an independent voice. And luckily, when we call on them, it's so powerful on the stage, and the idea that it take up the mantle and come, we are grateful. Channel, last word, please. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I just want to say Saturday, I will try, we will try for hopefully I will run stable now. I will run steady in one place. So we will continue with next uh with continuous discussion on the frontline show. 
So once more, um, I tell everybody thank you, and um, let's keep the keep spreading the word, and and share continuously share um, these discussions and conversations. They are helping. So thank you very much, and see you on Saturday. Yeah, thank you, Cherno, and um, um, many thanks, brother, and goodbye. And to the audience, make I just say thank you for watching. And again, last week, Una blame me on the Warise show and another show before the Warise show where Una say we'll not read the normal thing where we can do in the chat room. So let's just run through this quickly because some people are like this. Not to everybody, but most people like this. Abdullah Kamara, greetings from France. France, how are you, George Orwell, a regular watcher of the program? Hello, Mr. Kroma. Hello, Mr. George Orwell. Memuna Tumuna Bari, a sister that has become consistently watching the program, and we appreciate you. Sister Bari, many thanks, and congratulations to you as well. Alaji Mama Sanko, greetings from Milan, Italy. Oh, yes, we get a newfound friend and a very good one we seen for the Enjoy We program in Milan, Italy. Good evening to Milan. The next time I go to greet you, um, 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 George, um, um, it will be in, um, um, how you call him? Uh, I call you George, Alhaji. It will be in Italian. I've got a few Italians in my workplace, and I go ask them for that and teach me how to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Beatrice Thompson, good evening, TNN. Good evening, Sister Beatrice Thompson. Many thanks. Aruna James, good evening. Good evening, Aruna James. Amana uh, to Sanusi, good evening from my side. TNN TV Media Empire, then Una, then Una Aduo to Mawasalo. <laughs> yes, Una Aduo, Una Kushe over there, Usai the call, Usai the talk from. Kanu Ali, good evening, Mr. Kroma, good evening, Mr. Kanu Ali, and Muna to Muna Bari, good afternoon, sir, at Prince Kroma and everyone. Yes, this is not the sister. We don't, we don't, we don't knight me. We don't give me this title, sir. And I have to live by it. Many thanks, Sister Mimuna Tubari. Um, um, Kumba Tarawali, hello, hello, Sister Kumba. Alemami Sise, hello, Fuad Sise, welcome to TNN. Thank you. Um, Victor Fode, Mr. Prince, why the long absence of Superman? <sighs> we don't come to the end of the program. It's not hard for explain, but maybe thank you for the question. I go use the opportunity the next time I come live. Make sure say you tune in. In fact, tomorrow we get a um, 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 former minister of um, 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 public policy, Nanette Thomas, will be on the program tomorrow. Then I will hopefully send a reminder as well. Then I will try to address that. Many thanks for the question. Ali Mohamed Bao, this program is very important and needs a good attention. Welcome, TNN. Many thanks, Mr. Bao. Jeremiah mm. Lan Thomas. Jeremiah Lan Thomas. I'm, I'm Gabriel watching. Thank you for watching. Arun Kamara, I'm watching from New York. Um, um, hello to the Big Apple. Are you Lower Manhattan, Upper Manhattan? Are you on the rich side, the poor side? Um, um, a little bit. I haven't been to New York before. I've been to America a few times. No New York, but I really want to go to New York, and I'm planning that with my family. Thank you, Mr. Arun Kamara. Um, please, can you entertain some calls? Of, unfortunately, the program is over. Memona Tumuna by the gentleman at Comrade Quaita and Brother Cheno Amba. Blessings. Blessings to them as well. Thank you very much. Martha Bangura is watching from London. Sister Martha Bangura, many thanks for watching from London. As I'm sure I'm somewhere close to you. I'm in London as well. Um, Jojo, we are very excited to see Mr. Bao on the TNN Media Show tonight. Of course, he's part and parcel of this platform. He's been on the road, so we were not able to see him last weekend. And there were many questions that came to me. Where's Mr. Bao? And those detractors who thought, you know, yeah, it was just a dip in the frying pan. It's like, well, this is it. He's gone. And what have you? Shame on you. <laughs> um, Sue, Prince, can you touch on the burial of the people yesterday? Sorry, Sister Sue, I see this conversation late. Comrade Bar, MMM, Koita, rather, been on the program. He's more informed on this. But maybe, hopefully, we will touch on this on the program tomorrow. Make sure you, she, you, think, you tune in tomorrow. I will watch him and try for listen and try for let me dwell on that. Um, Brother Sheku Ture, in a democracy, the journalists are the referees. You have decided to be a referee and a player. 
which render your movement useless. Wow, that's quite stinging, my movement. Useless, Brother Shepherd, to me. Really? If you think you change the political dynamics, why not form your own political party and run for office? Well, that's not my intention, brother. If that was my intention, I could easily do that. I've got a contact. I've got an acumen. I have got, you know, yeah, what it takes to do just that. But I'm happy in what I'm doing. And um, um, this is what I will continue to do until my mind changes. Many thanks, brother Ture, even though your criticism is stinging and I don't agree with it. Um, Memona to Munabari, God forbid you will live and not die to declare the glory of God in your life and the salvation of your motherland. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. <laughs> That's for Cheruba. Yeah, you see, one person they insult you, the other person is you. Interesting. Rosamund Conte, he's not a politician, he's a journalist. This same man, Cherno, when he was writing about APC, the SLPP, were sing praising him that now he is bringing out proof of thievery, corruption, and undemocratic ruling. You are here posting rubbish. Get a grip. Cherno is not interested in any political agenda but to bring out the truth to the citizens. Many thanks, Sister Rosamund Conte. I won't say much. I've addressed these issues before. So has he. Many thanks for bringing that to light. Rosamund Conte again, amen. God will grant Cherno good health and long life for us. And can I add on to that prayer? God will add good health and long life for the brother as long as he continues to speak the truth. Junior Cargo echoing sound. Yes, Mr. Cargo, I think he was coming from one of the participants on the program. Many thanks. I hope you're well. And I'm sure you have returned back to the UK after holidaying back home. Tino, feedback is on the same thing here. Echo sound, turn off replay. Yeah, that was coming from one of the participants. Thanks, that means people are listening and watching. Yeah, sound is echoing. Beatrice Thompson, Rosamond Conte, the sound is echoing. Memuna to Muna Barry, awesome self care. It is needed. Robert Cabo, O Chernoba, continue to release the truth about the wrong these politicians are doing to the nation of um, um, Sierra Leone. Robert Cabo, you sound very prophetical, very biblical. It's like, Oh dear Chernoba, continue to release the truth about the wrongs the politicians are doing to the nation of Sierra Leone. <laughs> Many thanks, brother Robert Cabo. Love you, brother. Um, Memuna to Munabari, Memuna to Munabari, Arun Kamara. Please, can I call so that I can ask Cherno? Um, um, the show is over, but next time, please feel free to call, ask the question. I've not been monitoring the chat room lately. This is something that we do. I've not been doing that for the last three or four shows, but I will start doing that again because this is important. So, my apologies, um, um, Arun Kamara, for not responding on time. Um, share, 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 share is caring for the betterment of Sierra Leone. Absolutely agree, Madam Barry. We see Tarawali, the sound is still echoing. Yes, that's true. I did complain about that, about that as well. Um, Potoko Bobo, I'm getting a call, I will, I will have to call him back. Yeah, Tino, turn the replay off. Uh, no, that wasn't me, it was somebody, it was somebody else. That was in me or somebody else. Many thanks for that. Coming from both of you guys, both of you guys, and I should say not the guests because I don't bring in any of my apparatus. No TV, no mobile phone, no tablet turn off. I was basically focused on the program. But many thanks, Amatino. For what you see, Papa government, Chernobyl is always ahead of you and your evil plans against the Sierra Leonean people will not work. Tino, much better now. Thank you, Tino. Robocabo Chernoba, can you answer gentle mother? He claimed that the staff of embassy was moved from that building before Bio came to power. Mm -hmm. Again, apologies. I not see all of this. I should have paid attention so I can post that to Ram, and he will have gladly answered that. Next time, anyway, I will begin to pay attention again. For the camera, we are getting echoes in the voices. Okay, Kali Dowd, please always mute, please. Yes, MM Professor. Um, um, it wasn't. It wasn't me. Honestly, I checked all my system. It really wasn't me. Um, Binesuma, this is a useless parliament. The worst ever. Just the worst presidency on the bill. Binesuma. As for KKY, he's the biggest disappointment. Well, I don't know how many people will disagree. Um, Robert Kabo. Abdul Kabo will not appear when Chernoba is in your program. Um, um, just a quick correction. The two were not paired to appear on the program. This was Abdul Kago, Honorable Abdul Kago's program, entirely, exclusively his program. 
why he chose not to attend. I don't know why there's not been some message as to, oh, sorry, you know, I couldn't for X, Y, Z reason. Well, I can make a judgment and I'll make a judgment pretty soon because I'll find, I'll find out. Um, for the Kabo, for the camera, our channel bar message is so important, but there's still background echoes. Galidao, guys can hear what channel bar is talking. Pathetic. It is pathetic indeed what the brother was saying regarding our government. We take note. Yes, we are. Thank you, Professor. Chernobyl, the major in Freetown, Akisoya, the mayor, Akisoya, don't have the power to lock down businesses. She will be in great problem. Okay. Don't know what I exactly suppose for me. The mayor does have a lot of power. She is the president of the capital. The president is a tenant. The mayor is the landlord of Freetown. There lies the contradiction. I won't say much. Sequence to Buya. Greetings, good greeting sequence. Um, um, Professor Gali Dowd, what our MPs are doing. Um, um, Gali Dowd, Professor Prince, always mute, please. Thank you for the information. Memuna to Munabari, Rosa Monconte, amen. For what you see, all man no say, na Mr. Ba, make Fatima Setimot. <laughs> For what you see, from what Mr. Bar pull, from where Mr. Bar pull real evidence from Fatima in corruption, where even they say she no one day receive water from Salon government. Okay, Cabo Daniel Tamba. Good evening. Good evening, Cabo Daniel Tamba, daughter of the monsoon. Her name is Lara Tilapias. Many thanks for that. I'm a daughter of the monsoon. Mr. Seth can get her name they mix up most times. I can take, you know, saying a compound in Tilopias. Make it say Pias Taylor somehow. But forgive me, Madam Tilopias, if you are listening. Um, patriotism of the highest degree. God bless you, Brother Cherno. Kaletu Kamara watching. Um, um, Lamaba, good evening, um, um, Saz. Good evening, Sister Lamaba. Daughter of the monsoon, such a disgrace and undermining of our dear democracy. Daughter of the monsoon, instead of doing the right thing, they fight us and find ways to stop us from voicing our concerns. Lakish LK is watching. Binesuma, God bless our patriot channel. Daughter of the monsoon, exactly. Binesuma, we have the change. We have to change the narrative of our country and move it from the starved ages. Um, it is misplaced priorities. Very sad. Ayo Taylor is watching. Ayo Taylor is watching. Tigi Kaba, the true legend of Mama Salona. I bet she was talking about um, Jeroba. Um, who else we have? Amanatu Sanusi. Corruption don't shock them. It don't shock them big time. Difficult for reverse. Mm -hmm. Alan Labour, what is the opposition doing in these matters of abuse and mismanagement? Good question, Alan. Amanatu Sanusi, once more. Good night, everyone. God bless and protect Mr. Ba. Thank you, Mr. Um, um, Kara, Karama. Probably that's me she was alluding to. If not me, thank you very much. Although you mistake the name of me, you would misspell my name. For better do love, peace, unity, humanity, and freedom together, we will push Salon go before. God bless we all. Okay. Zainab Kamara. Thank you. Okay. There are so much more. I could go on reading, reading, and reading, but we need for end the program. But Fambulem, I want to tell Luna very much. Thank you. I'll send a picture out. Of course, if you look on Facebook, probably you might see 26 or 50 people they watch. But what I want to tell Luna, there is a hundred because of the live stream um, to two platforms and we emphasis is more and more becoming youtube because like i say again now they would again with small little, little thing this is the code we arrived today who would only miss for seven months from adsense google adsense so we get over 190 people and they watch so probably i don't know how many they now you i mean a facebook now look what's in the now, facebook and if I say we get 190 people to watch, that means the rest of them and the vast majority are on YouTube. 
I want to say thank you to all the people away. Subscribe to this program. Not forget, subscribe to a YouTube program. Click on the notice bell so that whenever we go live, you go able to get with live notice, say we don't go live. Subscribe. Not only do that alone, share them to family and friends. On the Facebook page, you can follow me, you can like me page. This has been a then and now production. And not forget for tuning again tomorrow. Tomorrow, we get Nanette Thomas, a former minister and the honest by Coroma government. She will be on this platform, the same channel, the same dial. So don't touch it. For today, on the 18th of October, 2022, I've been your host and presenter, Prince Emil Kroma, saying thank you very much. Don't touch it. Yeah, many thanks for watching and good night. We'll catch up tomorrow. I love you all. Until when I hear you from we again, we're not be far, just tomorrow. Stay blessed. This is Prince Emil Kroma. This is the TNN TV Media Empire. Good night. Goodbye.